Hello everyone, and welcome back to StarCraft 2 Legacy of the Void and Headset Dress Match. Because it's never in the right place. Always bothers me. Not like I could be hurt anyway. But yeah. Oh, it's a lot of things. Oh, so I'm tired. But yeah. So, we're ready to leave the system. But firstly, Alar. Have the Taldarim accepted the truth of Amon's betrayal? Some have. Others dare not question my commands. None wish to declare Rakshir upon you. Let them. No one can stand in the way of my vengeance. This grows tiring. We have done what we came to do. Set course for ire. And let us bring this war to Amon. Do not dare give me orders, Alarak. We will return to Ire only when I believe the time is right. Let's hope that time comes soon. Oh yeah, by the way, we can now use... We can now drop a phoenix on. Oh, and there's that, which, man, is a thing. Because I don't really care for the hovers, honestly. I mean, that's not terrible. That's... Eh. This is fine. Especially how many times I use pine. Do not think what has happened here will spare Alarak from my watchful eye. I did not expect it to. If he dares to betray us or takes any action against you, I promise his blood will coat these corridors. Good. That is what I am counting on. So anyway. Wait, what's this? Heavens. The Taldarim and Alarak have joined our fight, but we cannot strike against Ire until Amon's armies have been brought low. Mobius Corps is overseeing Amon's hybrid production lab. I will not let this continue. We will go to Revenscar and destroy the station before Amon can create more of these abominations. Yeah, I think we'll get that. Phoenix and I believe that we can awaken the ancient purifiers and call upon their power. They may have been a forbidden weapon, but I have seen their potential in Phoenix and know that this time they will not fail us. Oh yeah, sure. Best ideas. But Colossi. I do want Colossi. Colossi are useful. Oh, I'm I have made a decision many of you will not agree with. During my time with Phoenix, I have seen that the Purifier program, under the right guidance, may be reborn. History has shown the Purifiers no cannot be controlled, Artemis. They do not have to be. These personalities, like I, will have free will. We do not have enough Purifier matrices to create more like Phoenix. You cannot possibly be considering what I think you are. The original purifiers are housed in orbit above the forest world of Endion, sealed within their warship, Cybros. I have seen through Phoenix that these warriors may be valuable to us. Perhaps the Conclave misunderstood them, treating them as simple guy. robots and not proud Templar. It tried to control them. And they rebelled, attacking their creators. Oh god, are we having a whole Would you not again? rebel against this slave master? <laughs> I have heard your counsel, and I have chosen to go to Endion. We leave at once! Oh god, is it seriously... Are we seriously playing now? Yeah. Fire stasis grid is still intact. 
will have to destabilize it from the generator below. I'm detecting a massive Zerg infestation on the surface. They can't be Kerrigan's. Amon's brood. This will not be easy. Well, what do you think about all of this? Why do we linger here? Oh, your ship is too bright. It pains my eyes. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, the efficiency of the firstborn leaves. I know this will work, Hierarch. I know I can guide the purifiers through the darkness that lies ahead. Help them accept what they are. I can convince them that they will not be treated as servants again. Then it appears as if you have found purpose, brother. Since awakening, I have been confused, directionless, uncertain of what I am. How I came to be, now things are clear once more. Fate has laid out a purpose only I can accomplish. It is exhilarating. Yes, you embark upon a task that even Phoenix could not achieve. Yet he would attempt it if he could. I have learned much from Phoenix's memories, and through them, I have come to know myself. I am Phoenix, but not. I am my own entity, and I take pride in this. What could I name you for? The Zerg posed quite a problem. Disrupting the stasis grid was never going to be easy. It certainly will be less so with Amon's brood attacking us. Mm. We will hold them off long enough for your work, Karax. The scientists sealed away Cybros with a device called the Megalith. Uh, it is the key to disabling the station's stasis lock. Not Once not. the grid is down, we have to act swiftly and bring Cybros online or flee orbit. The might of the brood below is too great. Leave the defense to me. So... Our scouts are reporting that Dominion is attempting to fight back the Golden Armada. Despite their efforts, multiple systems have fallen. Endion. It is hard to imagine what it must have looked like before the Zerg invaded. So you gonna complain some more? What you plan to do is awaken monsters, Artemis. They slaughtered every Templar on the base of Lantinum. They rose against their masters. Our people never treated them as Templar. Because they are robots, created to do the bidding of the Conclave. Is this what you think of Phoenix? A robot whose only purpose is to do your bidding? He certainly defies expectations. He is... more. Perhaps the original Purifier robots will be too. If nothing else, think of their benefit to the war effort. That is, if they choose to join us. I, mean, well, I believe in Phoenix. I am willing to take the risk. If they are anything like Phoenix, the purifiers have potential. Oh, the efficiency of the first ball. Die away. The shield emitters on India must be disabled if we are to reactivate Cyrus. The time to begin is now, Hierarch. Could be the thing. It's your case with Rock in that mission, unless it's for a second. Destroy all Zerg structures. Okay. Well, I should probably build an army then. Then we should hopefully try out the Phoenix button. Some units can attack multiple targets at once. This makes them effective against large groups of enemies, especially Zerglings. Clocks are very good against Zerglings, unless the Zerglings run past and then start nomming at the Colossi's feet. Then Colossi are not that great. So we want to have other units to distract the Zerglings. Namely... Templars. Templar. Well, not Templars. Uh. What do I have? Sentinels? Not Zealot. Whatever. The Pale Fire version of 
still exists. Boop. Oh, that thing. Cyrus, the vault of the purifiers. It is fortunate that Avon's brood has been unable to penetrate its stasis grid. I now have access to Endion's records. Hmm. The stasis grid is sealed by complicated locking mechanisms. They can only be destabilized by a certain device. The Megalith. I'll begin recovering it now, so it may work on the locks. Not if it it would need protection. Oh. These forests already crawl with Zerg abominations. Then we shall clear them out. If I may, Hierarch, this facility once developed powerful weapons for the Empire. Colossi. Ah, I have heard tale of the mighty Colossi. Steam cliffs besieging enemies from afar. Let us see how they fare against the Zerg. So basically, hey, you want to try out Colossi? You want to try out Colossi? Colossi. Zap. Zap. The Zerg are coming from that cave. If we fire on the rock formation, it will seal the opening. How much of a hurry do you have to go the surface Authorization in progress. The Megalith should be ready shortly, Hierarch. We will monitor its status and alert you when it is online. Okay, so we have at the amount of time. The Megalith ah. systems will take a few moments right. to activate. It will be ready to move out soon. In the meantime, I've upgraded our robotics facilities to construct Colossi. You can warp you them in whenever you wish, Hierarch. So, robotics bays. Colossi are expensive, though. Like, yeah. Oh, so why is this not work for robotics facilities? Why are they not work for facilities? Seriously, guys. Anyway, why do we not have? You have not enough minerals. Yeah, I know that, but still, why don't we have a board? Ah, let me get an old pylon. Oh, I don't like that. No, it's just. It's just open hell, or undefended open. Oh, so I have two potential ways to get myself murdered. Yeah. And I found that you lost. My parano pilot down there. 
How much does it in this cost? I think 50. The megalith should be finishing oh, no. up shortly. We should ensure that we have enough forces to defend it. We don't, by the way. You we really it. don't. Like, we don't have nearly enough forces to defend it. So I need more wor workers before I can worry about forces. The megalith is online. Oh God, we must ensure it reaches the stasis marks safely. No. Stop. No. You assholes. Ugh. The best is one of these missions where I have to escort them. I hate an escort mission. I don't have any forces really up because why would I? Like seriously, why would I have forces prepared for this shit? Okay, warp in a half a warp in a couple dragoons. I have returned. I have returned. The megalith has reached the first stasis lock. It will be safe below the surface as it does uh, its work. Uh, what's up? You. Guide oh, name. right. This is designed for you fuckers. This cliffs. They can claim the cliffs. Right. Of course they can. They can go get the best resources because they can climb up the bit. We. I could drop a green zone shit though. That might be bad. I'm detecting Zerg movement. Warriors, ensure none reach our nexus point. Oh no, Zerg. They're gonna come try and murder me. Whatever shall we do? Alright, fuck the that fight me now. I don't really know if I did it anyway. Uh okay. I don't know the Zerg. Well the game's gonna move me down now. Yeah. Anyway you I need to start bearing it, so yeah. The megalith is almost done with this lock. I would advise you to make preparations well, for its next move. Oh, 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 Sensors show the first stasis lock has been disabled. The megalith is relocating to the yeah. next one. That way it's completely sealed and well defended. Yeah. You keep building me workers. You have not enough men. Fuck off. I was made workers. I have enough minerals as I need. All right, you want me to do shit? You fucked. By the way, they that. That guy is a fan. Zerg abomination. We don't have any control. Face the wrath Phoenix. of Phoenix. He just shows up and murders everything. That's all he does. It's pretty great. You can't control him though. But he does what he wants. He shows up, murders things, and goes away. Pretty great. The Megalith has arrived safely at the second stasis lock. It shall be brought down shortly. Oh, by the way, pylon. 
Interesting. I believe this facility used power cores of incredible size to provide energy for experiments. They should be hidden somewhere within these hills. You guys get back over. If our warriors can destroy them, we can claim the solarite components within. The canyon grows narrow ahead. Crawlers, they're rooting on the ridge. Brace for incoming fire. So now that we had resources again, oh, I missed having resources. I want to reload. I want. I want to reload. Megalith's work is nearly complete. Yeah. It will move again soon. And that thing's gonna start moving. And I can't build up any of my defenses. Stasis lock disabled, and the grid is now at 60%. The megalith is en route to the third lock now. Back in there. I'll probably just drop the station down the top here. What? Drop me another pile of after units. We're gonna hide a Go away. Fuck. 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 All my shit. If they decide to attack right when I build. All right, I should... guys. Why are you? Ugh. Okay, I should be over here and close. Pissed off a bit now. I don't have any real. I was trying to my defense. And I wasted all my resources on my defense. Zerg fucked me up. <sighs> God, I'm so dang. Now I'm just a bit Losing too many units, so. Ugh. Glorious at hand, <sighs> brothers. Join me as I slay these foul creatures. Yes, you do your thing. I have to go to my damn wall. Well done, warriors. The megalith is disabling the third lock. Yeah, now our defenses are all secure. Yeah, defenses, everyone. Woo. Power core, though. I need to go, go back and do that thing with the power core. We need to get that power core thing back, though. Before this thing actually moves. 
And yes, I realize I'm missing a lot of gas, which is unfortunate for me. But anyway. All right, you pedal. Yes. The first power core has been secured. Warping it aboard now. Need more. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. You have not enough minerals. You have not enough minerals. Anyway, you guys can't get up there. That's our for Colossus to up there. Because the game won't. <laughs> This map's entirely just designed for Colossal. Sucks to be you, player. You Why don't you send your Colossal to give the gas? Me. Anyway. Sorry, I'm just a bit worried. Oh, can you not This read? lock is almost destabilized. The Megalith will go. relocate shortly. Alright, cause you can't. For sure. The enemy in Both power cores have been obtained. I'll begin working on them immediately. I am detecting a large number of Zerg bioforms in the cave network ahead. We can use the terrain to our advantage. Toggle the rock formations near the entrance and seal the Zerg within the caves. The third lock has been disabled, and the Megalith is on the move. My readout shows Cybros beginning to awaken from stasis. Only two remain, Hierarch. Engaging foe, the hour is of us. Your warriors have engaged the enemy. Oh. The hour is us. number of Zerg have been detected in the caves ahead. Exercise caution. I, uh, read them out. Okay. Oh, that, that was good. Yeah, drop <sighs> The fires of conflict burn bright. So I could technically drop a bunch of destroyers. Two. Well, that's two. One. Two. How brother. Three. Join me in oh. the death fleet descends. That death fleet descends. Your allies are in battle. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Did you not build one downhill like I told you? Engaging foe. Just now is that. Phase link build? authorized. The megalith is now disabling the fourth lock. Why are you the sure. okay. Destroy that. We meet the oh, enemy Zerg hive cluster between the megalith and the last ah. stasis lock. Our only option is to fight through it. Only destruction awaits our foes. Welcome to the death. Oh, 
Okay, now that we're starting to really start to You. Get back to warriors have engaged the enemy. Okay. Uh, that is really bad now. But since I don't... What Seismic disturbance detected. Nidus worms are inbound on your location. My alternative is more deathly. More. You require more. The death fleet descends. What is my death fleet? Never. Back then. Lock destabilization is nearly finished. The megalith will disembark soon. Deathly. Speak, York. The death fleet dis. The death fleet. The enemy. I'm not talking How much I love void rays. I am the ember of eternity. Your will be over. Death fleet. This in. Ah, Your warriors have engaged the enemy. The lock is down and the megalith is traveling. Stasis grid at 20%. Wait. I'm detecting activity in the Zerg hive nearby. They're reinforcing the last lock. Well, as much as they can say, help. Colossal before the end. Hopefully. Why? Are you, oh, I was like, why aren't you going uphill? Right, you're not. You don't have the Colossal ability. Colossal, yay! Your allies are in battle. No. 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 This warrior awakens. This warrior awakens. This warrior awakens. This warrior awakens. And I think we're good. Upgrade complete. So my I should warp him. Where's my death light? The time has come. The final lock is destabilizing, and the grid is down. We've done it! Cybros is free from stasis. We call our forces from Endeon's surface. We take this battle to Cybros. So... Once again, I still hate these gimmick things. I wish it was just, go destroy a base. So, oh, we need you to do an escort. Anyway. See all caves? Less than 40 seconds after Zerg begin to merge from them. I'm not sure I did that. Destroy all Zerg structures. Now we, there was 10 remaining somewhere. But oh well. Colossi. Colossi are fun, but they're not void rays. Or carriers. Carriers are... Gr carriers are great because the AI... There are new personnel awaiting your review in the War Council hierarchy. I assume your plan is to bind these robotic warriors to your will. No. They will be allowed their freedom, much like Phoenix. Making slaves of them is what led to their revolt before. Oh, 
this foolish idealism taxes my patience. Idealism? They are the replications of our greatest champions. Was it so different when we gave your people freedom by breaking them away from Malash's grip? Only to deliver them to mine. I could not allow my people to be guided by Amon's lies any further. But make no mistake, they are not free. Freedom is a delusion granted to the weak by the strong. You speak as Amon does. For the sake of your life, that will change. Instill the Phoenix Machine as the new executor of the Purifiers and use them as the tools of destruction they were built to be. Well, there you go. Anyway, where's time to allocate solar right? Your plan worked, Kerax. The stasis grid is down. We must act now. If we can bring Cybros online, the battle station should begin to defend itself. And the purifiers? They have lain dormant for millennia. They may still harbor anger towards us. If they turn on us, we will have to fight. We failed them before, yeah, not understanding it what it was we had birthed. These personalities may be replications, but they are alive. After spending so much time with Phoenix, I share your belief. See? Bartanus is smarter than the entire Korean race. Yeah, we made these machines. But they are alive. See, he understands that right off the bat. Yeah, Mass Effect, the Koreans were like, we made these machines, but they started crashing if they were alive. So we had to kill them all. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Because you can't have them thinking they're alive. Does this Phoenix, even have a cell? The core is emitting an unusual number of flares. Can you recalibrate the gravity well's vector field? No. Right, of course. <laughs> I'll handle it. Cyros will not be able to resist the Zerg for long. We should move quickly if we hope to save the purifiers. I require your honest counsel, Phoenix. Do you believe the purifiers will join us? I, mean, why would you I do not that? know. They may harbor rage. Resentment for the actions of our forebears. The Daylam is not the Conclave. We are united in purpose, like never before. And that is why the Purifiers must be allowed to choose their fate for themselves. Yeah, go Without ahead, freedom, a people can be controlled, but it's never fine. united. This is true, and yet... The Firstborn have ill need of another enemy. And I believe in you to not create one. Your actions determine the future for both the Templar and the Purifiers. But now is the time to act, Hierarch. You are right. The way forward may be difficult, but it is necessary. Thank you, my friend. Experiments are going well, Hierarch. Hopefully, a breakthrough will occur soon. So, I welcome you, so. you Hierarch. If you would listen to me just once. No. They cannot all be like Phoenix, Hierarch. Oh. Hi. Hi. How are you doing? It's a big one, isn't it? There we go. The purifiers are dangerous. Perhaps you must learn this firsthand. They cannot all be like. Why was Endion chosen as the world Cybros was to orbit? For thousands of years, it has been a research retreat. Here, Protoss scholars secluded themselves from political affairs to focus on the task of devising technology that would benefit the Empire. The Psi Matrix was first conceived here. When it was decided that the purifiers would be shut down, they became a symbol of achievement, but also the dangers of it. So they were brought to a research colony. 
Where better than a place where our greatest scientists resided, constantly improving Cybros's stasis field? And how many resided on the world below? 800,000 Kalai, a contingent of Templar. I only hope their deaths were swift. Well, there we go. We have received new robotic siege technology, Hierarch. Please make your selection. So what do you want to do? So here's the thing. We can have Colossi. Colossi are pretty great. I mean, look at this. Zap, zap. So now we have... We decided to give them five. Five beams instead. Attached that fire to ground tempting enemy ground units over time. Besides that. However, you could have good old caterpillars back. Remember the good old caterpillars? Reapers. I might like the air scarab that's below. For every damage. Around the target, to its bonus damage to structures. So do I want the caterpillars back? I do not trust them at all, though, no, so no. I remember murdering half my units in StarCraft 1 with Reavers just because. Like, hey, I'm gonna build Reavers. They seem like a great thing. All my Zeroes are dead. And my Dark Templar. Because Reavers. I stopped really using Reavers after that. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I'll just stick with the Colossi. Wait, what do you mean, Simon DeFell? The legendary Arbiter vessels have been reconstructed due to our great need. They can be deployed at your discretion. Oh, shit, we can have Arbiters back. Presence. Arbiters. So, Arbiters cloak nail pipes around the units, places enemies in stasis, teleports around the units, it's okay. Bell, fun. <laughs> I'm going to say, I mean, Arbiters are fine, though, very support ish. You would basically sit in one of those with a uh, fleet, so the fleet's invisible. But then they will all practically target the Arbiter. But yeah, still not bad. But anyway, I believe that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, thank you all, and have a nice day.